Hello, everyone. First of all, thank you so much for being so patient. My name is Samar Mehdi, and I am a songwriter and a professional musician. But what I really like to be called is an independent musician. Now, what does an independent musician or an indie musician really mean? Does it mean that it's that kind of artist who's always broke? Mostly, yes. But that's not the definition I'm looking for. Does it mean the artist is so sleep deprived that their eyes have been sucked back into the sockets like this? That's also accurate, but that's not the definition I'm looking for. Does it mean that artist that has gone solo? You have so many artists that are bands that are also independent, right? You've heard of Indian Ocean and Parvaz and Local Train right now in India. So that's not the answer again. Does it mean an artist who can manage and market his own music by himself? Then again, any established artist has a team under their manager who's taking care of everything apart from the music. Again, wrong answer. What's the right answer? The right answer is any artist who has complete creative control over their work is an independent artist. Complete creative control and complete freedom to create. Now, what happens if you do not have complete creative control? You are given a template and you are required to fill that template with your creativity. Now, if you're cut out for that, it's well and good. I don't judge. But if you're a free soul, it's going to kill you. Really. You might get away with it once or twice, but the third time it's going to eat at you. Now, when it starts eating at you, you realize that, oh God, this is not who I am. And if you are not yourself in music, you're lost. I was lost for six years. And my tipping point came when I received this email from a client who suggested that I change my work because it was too creative. <laughs> right? So, but that was when I decided I'm going to take back my creative control. This is it. So when I did that, I used it to explore, to relentlessly experiment and blatantly reject my way into finding my own voice, my unique original voice. So once you found your voice, person like me already had a lot to say, just needed that voice. So when that happened, when I started saying what I wanted to say in an original, unique manner, thanks to the internet, it was heard, it was appreciated, and I was discovered. And the best thing that happened during that time was me getting an email from an artist management company called Workerbee, who ended up managing me. Now, when you're in this initial phase with an artist management company as an independent artist, you must make their lives easier by being so clear in your vision about your own music. You should have that. And you should be the one who defines their roles instead of the other way around. Otherwise, once again, you would be at risk of, creating, of relinquishing complete creative control. Who wants to be miserable, right? So let's keep that creative control with us. I'm talking only about independent musicians. So when I was in these discussions with Worker B as to what their role will be in my journey, they were also managing this artist called Sabi Singh from Jammu, singer-songwriter, beautiful music. He had also found his voice just like me. And while he and I could keep our complete creative control with us, Worker B took charge of taking care of everything around the creativity, around the music, all the dirty work like taking our calls, booking us for shows and all that, that every artist kind of hates. So we could focus on our music completely. The great thing about our arrangement was that we would regularly get into discussions, not just about the upcoming releases and the shows we'd have to play, but the big picture. For me, that was the defining point. 
not just about my trajectory as a musician, but also of the country's trajectory in terms of the music scene, where it was heading. And it was during one of these talks that I was pointed out that there is something really, really cool happening in the independent scene. While Summer is rising at his pace and Sabi is rising at his pace, there's something really important happening to the Indian scene. The rise of living room shows, intimate space sessions. What is the meaning of living room shows? What is the meaning of intimate music spaces? It's a small gathering of 30 to 50 people who pay their way into that, who play in a small space that is like a living room of a house or a garage. And over a minimal sound that suits that space. And those 30 to 50 people are curated so that only those get in who really are there for the music. And there are no distractions whatsoever. It's the perfect setting for a musician and the perfect setting for the audience. And it was one of my discussions about the big picture with Workerby that my manager Kunal made this prediction that eventually came true. He said, living room gigs are the future of India's music scene. So we should target that while we're also doing the bigger stages and the bars and the cafe shows, which is always something you do not want to do. It's always coming with a sort of sacrifice, a compromise. And if we keep an eye on this scene, we might be the first ones to tap into th this thing in a very big manner. So what do you mean by big manner, Kunal? He says, let's do a cross-country tour that is entirely and exclusively based on this space. That, if that happens, that will be the first ever in the history. And you know what? We'll be able to tell the whole scene. What's up? Kya aapko hai khabar? That's why when the tour actually happened, we ended up naming it Hai Khabar. And that was not followed by a question mark. It was followed by an exclamation point, which was our hope that by the end of the tour, we'd have people reply to our question of Hai Khabar by Ha Hai Khabar. 45 days on the road, 21 cities, 24 shows, 15,000 kilometers across the country. A complete DIY living room space tour. Two independent musicians from small towns like Bhopal and Jammu. One artist management company from Chandigarh, another small town, apparently. And still, we pulled off the biggest cross-country tour in the history of India's independent music scene. Thank you. Now, that was very revealing, not just for us, but for the overall scene. The indie scene duly obliged, because it wasn't just the tier one cities that we were selling out. We were the one to officially announce that tier two cities, Bhopal, Jaipur, Jammu, Chandigarh, this is where the scene is now. And we tapped into it before anyone else. Boohoo, we win. Not like that, we're not cocky, but it feels good. So really it was an incredible experience and this is a great time to be in the indie scene of India. You could be anyone, you could be playing any style of music, as far as it is honest and original, you will be appreciated, you will be discovered. For every Samar Mehdi and Sabi Singh, there is a work be. For every association like this, there is an association like So Far Sounds or House Concerts India who partnered us throughout Hai Khabar, Space Sessions, things like that, who, entities like that who specialize in these intimate spaces and creating the perfect setting. Once you get through that, you have an audience, no matter how much of a beginner you are. That never happened before. So if you're a songwriter, if you were beginning, but you have something to say and you know that, find your voice. If you found your voice, say something that has either never been said before or say something that's been said before in a way that has never been said before. Use that voice, right? What happens when that happens is I can assure you 
by experience, by this example, that the independent scene of India, or as I like to call it, the Indie ecosystem, is all ears. Thank you. I am not going to leave you before till I play a song. All right? This is a song that got me discovered. This is a song that happened when I took back my creative control. This song is aptly named Azad. And I dedicate it to all of you here and to those of you who are introspecting and second guessing yourself before taking that leap, releasing that first piece of art. Do it. Do it now. Get out of your own way. If you do that, you will feel what I felt when I said, Aaj main azad hoon, to ye tay ho gaya. Aur ye tay karne wala koon hai? Here we go.
Oh, yeah. 